Don't worry about the next. So it's your boy Chris with the next. Okay, so it's Black History Month. And the topic that I want to get on today is the um that YouTuber um James Charles the um one that's the cover boy for cover girl saying that Africa has Ebola. Um now he's seventeen years old and queer. Um and white. I feel like that was an ignorant statement and judging by everything that's unfolding I feel that <clears throat> it's very biased because he got to make that statement but a lot of people just saying oh he's a child you know let off he just made an ignorant statement but let there have been a black person who said you know all white people stink or all white people's hair look like dog hair then it would have been an uproar regardless if he was 17 or not but since he's uh, you know 17 and queer you know people want to you know shed some light on him first of all it's like he already should have been he already knew no, better enough in this day and age like you, you've seen even if he's 17 years old you know he should have known better than put his ignorant statement online because you've seen countless times where people who famous people have lost their endorsements because they've said something or they because they've been caught doing drugs or you know like when Kate Moss got caught using uh, cocaine she lost all three of her big endorsements and then she sobered up and then she got them back but you know a lot of people have lost a lot of things because of saying stuff like that and I feel that, you know, cover girls should, like, drop them. I feel that, you know, because cover girls, first black person to model for them, I think it was Brandy. You know, remember the 90s? My girl Brandy Norwood. I want to be down. You know. And so, and I feel like they don't really stand for that. And then they had Rihanna. Yeah, they had Rihanna for like a hot minute, or a good year or two. You know, so these are some big names that's been there. You know, I'm just naming off the black, you know, excellence because it's Black History Month. But, you know, they had two powerhouses. And, you know, he should have known better than to put that on line, you know. He should have known better. And this is just, you know, I guess white privilege. You know, you just put ignorant statements on and then people believe that and Ebola nobody has talked about Ebola for like a, a while. And I'm not gonna go too deep into it, but I do feel like Ebola was just a man made thing, just like, you know <laughs> um AIDS in Africa is always getting targeted. I don't know why. Maybe it was gonna target black people like that. You know, you go to Africa and you, you know, you take the lions and the, and elephants and put them over here in zoos and you love the area. You know, you have some white people calling themselves white Africans, but for some reason you just don't like black people. You know, you like black features, but you don't like them all black people. And, you know, I think that's a real, I think it's real stupid, you know. And I'm, I'm tired of people like really coming for Africa like that. You know, every time something bad or something big as disease, it always has to come from Africa. And we all know that Africa is a beautiful place and it probably got tainted. But um, you know what and you know who. So I just think that that really just struck a chord with me with people keep coming from Africa and keep saying stuff. You know, you go over to our to um, our country, our continent, rather. You know, you get the diamonds over there, you get the lions, you get the cheetahs, you know. You hunt for elephants, the ivory, you know, all this beautiful stuff. Yet and still people want to, 
say ignorant things about it. You know, I know a lot of I know a lot of the continents that start with A usually has the like biggest, baddest bugs and the diseases or some like animal Australia, Africa and you know so forth and so forth. You know, like the jumping spiders or whatever. But like I still think you know, you can get disease anywhere. You know, the US alone has a lot of HIV. And some people are not even African, not even not even only African American. So that's just my whole take on the whole situation. I just thought it was very ignorant. I just thought it was very stupid that we still have people that think, oh, Africa has Ebola, and you still got people who think they could tell people have AIDS just by looking at them. So what has this generation been taught? You know, I grew up in the 90s. That's when it was at its all-time high. It started in the 70s. I think it chilled a, a little bit in the 80s. Not really, not too much. Because I remember Michael Jackson was, um, he was um, taking care of that kid, Ryan White, who passed away at a young age from that. And then in the 90s, I think it, re it reached its high. And But I think that's when they started, you know, finding more stuff about it. You know, about HIV and AIDS, not Ebola. Ebola, I don't know what that is. I don't know where that came from. But yeah, that's just my take on it. Any comments, questions, concerns, you know where to leave them. Like, share, subscribe. Just like, subscribe. And till then, this has been your boy Chris with the next on some black ass talk. Peace.